Hello and welcome to Babushka Land. Today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic item sorting storage system. We are going to start with 60 chests, 44 hoppers, 42 stone bricks, 7 redstone comparators, 7 redstone torches, 7 redstone repeaters, 21 redstone dust, 7 item frames, and then we're going to do seven layers. So this item sorter is going to be able to sort seven items. So I've got 64 of seven items here. And you're going to need seven times 44 blocks that you don't need. So in this case, I have a lot of extra kelp. So I will be using kelp, but you could use any block. The stone brick is also interchangeable. You could really use any block you want. So let's get started. First, you want to place your chests. This is going to be four high and seven layers long. That's so two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll place the chest the same way on top. Make sure you hold down shift when you click. Oh, there's that one. If you click without holding shift, you won't be able to place your treasure chests. And there we are. Once your treasure chests are placed, you want to get your hoppers and put them all behind your treasure chests. That way the items will filter through and show up in the bottom one first. Make sure your hoppers are all facing into your treasure chest so the items get deposited into them. What will happen here is the items will go into the bottom one first and as that fills up they'll go into the second one and so on and so forth. Once they reach the top they're going to come out the exit treasure chest which you will see later on. Now let's grab all the other ingredients here. I guess they're items and not ingredients. Once all of your hoppers are placed, you are going to build a little structure behind. We're going to do three blocks out like so. And then we're going to do four underneath and knock out that middle block. Okay. Uh, Level yourself up a little, grab a repeater, make sure it's facing this way, pop a torch on this side, okay, and on top over here you want to place a comparator. Grab your redstone, and pop three of those on top. So each unit should look like this. And you're going to go ahead and continue building that all the way through. All right. Let's get up here and throw those repeaters on. There we go. Perfect. Pop on over to this side, throw some stone down, get those torches in on this side, build up your blocks. Now that the structure is complete in terms of blocks, we can put those comparators down. 
I don't know why that guy's on. Make sure they're not on. And get that redstone down. Okay. There we go. This is almost done. Let me grab your hoppers. Try and make sure your mouse highlights that little bit there so that you can shift click and place these. Otherwise, you'll just end up turning on the comparator. So you're going to go through, shift click, and get all these hoppers facing the comparators. Once you're all gravy with that, grab your useless blocks and give them a name. I'm going to make these all babushkas. So I'm going to have seven sets of 44 babushkas. All right, so there we have it. We have seven sets of 44 babushkas. If you try and add the kelp into the babushkas, it won't anymore. It doesn't recognize the item as the same thing now. And that's exactly what you want. So hop back on top, open your hopper up. And you want to put in 44 items in case you can't count. It's 41 plus 3. Now that you've got 44 in all of your uh, hoppers facing the comparators, what you want to do is come through here, pop a chest down like that. Now this is going to be the input chest. And over here, we need to have our output chest. So you also want to build a little column here. Pop chest in. And build a row of hoppers. These hoppers will transport your items to the given locations that they are supposed to be in. There we go. Also did that wrong. You don't want that there. You actually want that chest on top of this hopper. First, I'm going to put in my glowing frames so that you see exactly where these items are going to go. I want the items that I use the most frequently to be closest to my iron farm so that I can sell them to these guys for some emeralds. Poppies are definitely going to be last. Strings are okay because you can at least use strings for scaffolding. And of course, iron is the most useful. So I'm going to put iron in first. Got the pumpkin, got the sugar cane, got a melon here, got some kelp, got some string, and we got a poppy. Go to the first one where you want the iron, well, where I want the iron. Put a block of iron there. Now everything that filters through and goes down that chest should be iron. You can do the same for the next item, which for me is the pumpkin, then the sugar cane, then the melon, the kelp, and the string, and finally the poppy. So once I go up there, I'm going to put all of these items into the input treasure chest. And they should filter into their respective treasure chests if everything went well. I'll throw in the stone, this hopper, and the scaffolding. And the stone, the hopper, and the scaffolding should end up in the end treasure chest over here, which is the kind of like extras bin. So let's take a look. Is the iron going into the iron chest? Yes, it is. It's all there already. Let's see, the pumpkins are going in as well. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, come back and see when all of the items start to show up in the extras bin and everything starts to fill into the rest of the bin. So let's see how far we are here. Okay, the sugar cane's coming through. It's just going to take a couple minutes. Welcome back. So the last treasure chest has filled in with poppies and the end chest here is finally filling in with scaffolding. So that's how you make an automatic item sorting system. Everything will pass through those hoppers, get filtered out, and all the garbage goes into this end chest here. Now you can extend this kind of forever, so you really want to plan out where you want to put your item sorting system. For me, I started to build this brick road here 
and I'm going to continue it all the way down. I might end up even all the way inside of that mountain. There's about 400 items in Minecraft, so we'll see how far I eventually, I eventually make this thing go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Let me know how your item sorting system build goes. See you later.